Five reasons to draw tattoo designs on an iPad. So a few days ago I made a video titled Five Reasons Not to Draw Tattoo Designs on an iPad and I got some mixed reactions. I got some, uh, some tat mommies and poppies kind of getting what I was saying, picking up what I was putting down and I also definitely got some uh, some Steve Tat Jobs of the world bummed out and felt a little bit, I felt like um, attacked on their artistic um, capabilities because they draw on an iPad. To everyone out there, I draw on iPads. It's okay, I'm not stuck in the past. Yes, I paint in real life and, and I draw on paper still. The iPad is a tool, it is a very valuable tool. Again, I don't think it's a replacement for physically drawing on something in front of you that's, that's not glowing and assisted with an app, but no worries. These are five reasons why you should draw on the iPad. Cause again, I'm a fan, I'm into it. It's okay man, we got different opinions. So uh, number one right out the gate I would say is convenience. With the iPad I'm able to have all of my things in one place. There are cons to that because I tend to delete things on accident. I'm not the most organized guy. And there's people saying, oh the iCloud, this, that, blah, 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 woo, woo. And yes, that is fair, that is true. Um, for the most part, I'm not losing too many things, I'm not losing too many things than I would already lose in real life regardless anyhow. Um, but I can have everything in this bookshelf behind me right here with me on the road wherever I go on my iPad. And that's extremely helpful with me traveling and tattooing all over the world. Clients ask me all the time, you know, are you bringing your flash, are you bringing your line drawings, can I look through your stuff? And um, I kind of have to travel light and so the iPad allows me to do that very easily. The downside I would say, and again, I don't wanna, for every good thing I have a little tiny mm, to say, but I would say that I think that clients tend to see less value in the iPad when they're swiping through the line drawings. Um, I think it's harder for the client to imagine that on their body, but when they see a physical line drawing, like, uh, I'll grab one really quick. All right, so when they see a physical line drawing, like something like this book, they can hold up to arm and kind of get an idea of like, okay, that looks really good right there. Whereas in the iPad, they're not really likely to like hold the iPad to their arm. They don't really know how big it's gonna be. They don't really understand it. It's kind of disconnected from the proportions of what it would be on the paper in front of them. So I definitely see that as a bit of a challenge, but getting into number two right out the gate, and this solves that problem, and it, I think in many ways it makes up for that problem in, in many, many ways, is that on the iPad you're able to kind of like overlay these images over the person's body. So if your client has a, like a lack of like imagination or a lack of trust in what you're doing, or it's a cover up tattoo, or you're filling up a weird funky freaky spot, all you have to do is take a picture of that person's body part. Okay, so after you've taken a picture of like your client's arm or leg or whatever you got going on, you can get your digital line drawing and bam, you can place it right over there and now there's no need for imagination anywhere for the client to understand how it's going to look and where it's going to go where. You can show them right there very easily. I think my iPad just died, so good timing to show you guys that. Um, so that's really helpful. It can also be a bit of a hindrance because it's not an exact Sometimes it doesn't work exactly the same because a flat photo isn't the same as a round body part But it's a really good way of being like being able to try on these tattoos essentially It's where you don't really have to like take my word for it You can kind of show them roughly okay if it kind of works on here then, it, then it's very likely it's gonna work on there if not I'll figure it out I could take it from there trust me please no need to fucking have a prayer you know what I mean all right, let me charge this thing as it is an essential part of what we're talking about. It would help to have it on. Again, that just might be another con. For every good thing, there's always a little something else. So, number three, we're gonna talk about tracing and why the iPad is great for that. And that's a very important part about tattooing because you gotta fucking trace things to make things happen for people that want things tattooed. So, here's something I was working on that's kinda sitting around that I just found. Here's an old Rock of Ages image from the Bible that I was redrawing right here. All right, so, as you can see, there's no lines on it. I'm a traditional tattooer, which means there's lines. My images have structure, they have things happening. Um, this doesn't really have much of that. Ultimately, it doesn't make for the best tattoo to last the longest, and the best tattoo is the one that's the most permanent, in my opinion. So, when I look through this on the tracing table, 
you can't really see much. The opacity is lightened up, it's hard to see details in the face. We have to really, really make up for a lack of a lot happening. So here's my tracing. First rendition of me getting this stuff down, figuring it out, making a face back on there, making it happen. So that's the way it goes. That's how you do it on the tracing table. And you gotta kinda have a few different ren renderings of that thing. You know, I trace it once, I trace it twice, I trace it three times, I keep making it happen until it shapes up and looks the way I want to look. And it's a process, right? Now, on the iPad, that, I, that uh, process is a much easier process. So, let's show you a really similar reference. It might be the same exact reference. Let's see if my iPad will turn on. Okay, we're on. Okay, so this is actually a different Rock of Ages image, but still nonetheless an old faded light painting that I wanna make and do a structured traditional tattoo design. Um, this is it on the iPad, and here is my line drawings of me figuring out that face, giving it a face, giving it structure. There's my, me figuring it out. Now with something like this, I would actually print this out and I would do all the water by hand. Because again, as I mentioned in my last video, another downside to drawing on the iPad is your lines don't tend to have much movement, they don't tend to have much soul, they tend to look kind of stiff, you know? And so I'd want that water to have lots of movement, so that's something that I would make happen on paper. So I'm kind of collaborating, you know, a bit of the future with a little bit of the past, and together I can make a really badass design, I think, you know? So, I mean, it, it is a big tool, but again, in this case for me, it's not a replacement for the light box and some paper. Number four, back to convenience. I can take this thing and I can draw just about anywhere. I could take a seat over here and kick it and be comfy, and then I could draw until my next appointment gets here. I can be drawn on the toilet for all I care. But yes, just about anywhere, as long as you're comfortable sitting there, you can kind of just draw there. So that, I would say, is the biggest reason why I continue to use the iPad, even with its little bit of shortcomings for me. I can draw on the plane, I can draw anywhere I'm at. I can draw pretty comfortably. I will say this, it was a big learning curve drawing on the iPad. The lack of drag that you get from paper and a pencil was a real drag and a real hard thing to get past drawing on a slick screen. There's tips and tricks and tools and things you could do to get the hang of it, and it just ultimately kind of takes time. But once you do get over that hurdle and you learn that new tool, it is very useful, you know? And number five, this may just be a left-handed thing, but your, your line drawings that you do print out tend to be fucking as clean as they can be. Me being a lefty, I tend to get smudges across the paper, um, you know, little fingerprints and things, and you're gonna always have the best line drawing, the best possible stencil when your line drawing is drawn digitally. That's just a fact, that's just the way it is. It's undisputed, it is what it is. Um, as black as can be, as long as your printer is good with the ink, you're gonna get a super clean fucking stencil. I think those are the main things I could think of, you know? And again, I know, I know I sound like a little bit on both sides with every topic, but I am on both sides, you know? I'm an artist, this is one of my many tools I use, and in the departments that I do use it, it works fucking incredible. I don't use it for much. Again, I just kinda trace some stuff, I make my some line drawings on it. I will make my digital stuff on it for my t-shirts and things like that but I, I, I won't ever like paint flash and stuff like that on it. It just doesn't seem like it has much soul, you know? It's not, it's not my thing, it's not my place. I'm a tattooer making tattoo art and I think there's just something sacred about a painting having paint involved. But um, yeah, if you have any dispute, watch the other video, it might suit you better. If you like this video, fucking give it a thumbs up. If you wanna talk shit, do it down there. Um, I don't mind it, more engagement, the better, whatever is clever. Thank you for watching. Again, I appreciate you. Hope to see you guys in the next one, and uh, thank you.